I'm a few minutes early, so I'm going to wait. Because yesterday, when I got to the first, when I got to this pickup, the same location, they were not aware of the order. And when I dropped it off, which was a very local drop off, <clears throat> the office told me, we ordered this through the app. I'm picking up at a guac shop in Wanta. They said they ordered it through the store's app. So the apps are using these third party apps delivered. This one's for delivered. I'm completing four scheduled deliveries today. So that's what happened yesterday. I just pulled up, I pulled up at 1129 and I'm gonna wait five minutes before I walk up and I'm going to share my day with you in this video and let you know what's going on. Four scheduled deliveries, they're all not the highest payouts. However, I'm going to show you I made a deal with both deliveries. I reached out this morning while I was getting ready for my day. While I was getting ready for my day, I checked the bulk deliveries app, the cartwheel app, and I write, there is a Papa John's and an Auntie Anne's listed on the app for today. If bulk deliveries add a $10 bonus, I'll take them. Bulk deliveries fit right in my day, which, which was true. Thank you for your consideration. So then they wrote back checking. I say, thanks. I'll assign it to you. I'll added the bonus as well. Then I wrote both offers and they said, yes. And I said, okay, thank you. And they said, assigned both orders. I accepted, thanks again. I was waiting for that spot. I was actually sat here. She goes, oh. I'm sorry, she wasn't even in the parking lot. I was waiting for a man to move so I could use the ramp. She goes, sorry, and she just kept doing her thing. I said, you're not sorry. I, I don't do this. Right there, right there. You're not sorry. If you were sorry, you would have moved. So I go all the way around. I said, are you really that sorry? While well, she's walking in the store. It is 12.06. I'm heading to the drop off and then I'll be heading to my next pickup from another app. This is why you need time in between because nothing works seamlessly when you are working in the field. That is for sure. Delivered just sent the notification that I have arrived. I'm delivering off of Sunrise Highway in Rockville Center. I don't even know where the building is yet. This, and there's a lot of construction going on and it's in this, it's in the area where Sunrise and Merrick Turn Road. Turn right on Merrick Road. This is tough. This is gonna be a tough one. Delivery should have been completed by 12.15, and I was moving. It is now 12.56. All the way, not the same truck, but a truck. All the way down Sunrise. I, it's as if I'm driving on Merrick Road going 30 miles an hour. This is not easy. I called up the Annie M's, Annie Ann's, when I got to the mall. I am on the right side, I got lucky. But while, I mean, they got someone on the phone that can understand English. And I said, I'm a delivery person. I'm picking up an order. Can you please tell me where you're located in the mall? So I got lucky, it's right over here. And then she's like, sorry, I gotta go now. Because, you know, she told me what she needed to tell me. She had to get off the phone immediately. Malls are hard when you're picking up at little stores like that. But at least I got lucky. It's 1.36. It took me that long to figure out. I left my apartment. I got to the first pickup. I got it delivered. All I did was get gas on the way to this mall. And now it's 1.36. And I'm lucky I got here in the nick of time. Lucky. A lot happens. And a lot of traffic. I felt like I was going backwards all morning. I've only drove... 21 miles. I feel like I've already put in 60 miles. I got the order. Like I'm getting my workout today. There's no question. They gave me nice ice cold water, which was needed. So now, if I ever do this again, the reason why I took it is because I was in Rockville Center. I figured what the heck. And it was good timing because I needed all the time to get here. 
And now I know where to go the next time. The delivery is right next door. It's to a cancer center, a cancer center that I've delivered to before. And it's a small order. And I'm gonna discuss that, why I, you know, I asked for the $10 payout, and I'm gonna show you how low the subtotal of food is for these two orders. That's why I figured, because I've done this before with bulk deliveries, they only could say yes so many times, because with something so low in price, they they couldn't they couldn't beat the ten dollar bonus last time. They said no, we can't give you more than that, because there is a limit. Somebody had to reach out to someone, and they got back to me, and they said do it for the ten dollar bonus. So here we go. I'm going to drop it off. Ten left. Do you see here? The one I picked up at Auntie Anne's. The subtotal of food or the prepaid amount is $96.97. So I'm not sure if that's including tip or not, but that's what I see on my end, and that's very low. Now, in this one, you see this, the prepaid total is $76.46. So that's why I asked for the extra 10 because I wouldn't go out of my way for 20 bucks. This is, I, I understand the distance. It's on the way home from the delivery I'm at now that I'm driving to Farmingdale so I can pass, pass this drop off, pick up and drop off. It made sense, but only if it was a minimum of $30. So you see what I mean by that. $76.46 is not a large order. It is now 2.35. I left my house at 11.10, 12.10, 1.10, Almost three and a half hours it took me to complete two deliveries. And I got my workout, a lot of traffic. All I did was get gas in the middle, that's all I did. And it was on the way to the mall. I'm, I'm, now I'm going to pass, I need to pass my home to go to a five o'clock pickup for delivered. I'm going to shower, refresh, start over, and go out and complete the second, the, the next two scheduled deliveries, and then do some Ubers and Grubhubs and take my time. I don't need to stay out, and it's too hot, you know, that in between weather, I might as well go home, refresh, have a little iced coffee. Today was really the first day that I, that I felt the heat, so, and I walked a lot. And I'm rehabilitating myself all at the same time and I'm having a good day I mean I'm not in the pain I usually am in but this was a lot of legwork to get two deliveries done this is why they need a lot of drivers out there stay tuned I'm heading home I'm gonna shower I'm gonna start all over. I just pulled up to my home it took me forever it's 303 I drove 29.4 miles. I feel like I drove like 75 miles. What a day. And it's only half over, but at least I could be home for an hour. I'll regroup, refresh, shower, cool the clothes. I was on the fence wearing a t-shirt because you can't just walk into an office or a medical facility and skorts, sandals, and a little tea. You have to dress, you know, age fitting. You have to enter. You're entering people's businesses. There's patients around that you really, it's, it's during the summer, you know, yeah, when you're leaving the house, you might look like, wow, aren't you a little warm? But that's why I actually went shopping a couple of times. I should go one more time because I found very thin, cool clothing and upgraded myself a little bit that are fitting for my age, but cool for the summer and not just a tea, you know? So you get it. So stay tuned and I'm hoping, I mean, I'm hoping by the time I get home tonight at 10 o'clock, I'll probably suck it up tonight. I really would like to break 250, but I thought I thought I would have squeezed in at least a handful of Ubers 
No, not at all. No time. I'm at the third pickup. I'm refreshed. It was a smart move to go home for a little while. And I'm going to head to Farmingdale and then I guess continue with the video or maybe squeeze in a couple of Ubers. I've been working on the video throughout the course of the day. And then I'll head to the fourth delivery, the fourth pickup, which is through Bolt Deliveries. The first delivery I completed today was through Delivered. The second was Bolt Deliveries. The third was from Delivered, which I'm doing now. And the fourth will be through Bolt Deliveries. So let's see how the rest of the day goes. Nice, cool, refreshing snack. Organic navel oranges from Uncle Giuseppe's. Mm. They're delicious. Look at this traffic. It's going to be another 10 minutes. They said they're working on it. You know, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of chatter. There's a lot. You know, who's going to do this work? There's three men in there. You know, I mean, the front guy, he was nice. But, the, you know, it's pretty much all front end. You see everything going on. It's just a little storefront. And just a lot of noise. I say a store like this should go robotics. I think it'd be more enjoyable. Let's get off topic a little bit because it is seven and I got to wait. I'm lucky I made it here in time and I've only drove 52 miles today. I just can't get over that. How long this day is taking and how little miles I drove. I watched this video and I should find it. I, I should look it up. If I can, if I remember when I get home later, if I didn't start this video earlier today, it would take me over an hour to put this together on the phone at home, at least. This man in California, because the robotics I invested in, they have testing storefronts and they have this new store where you can make a reservation. You, well, you have to make a reservation to go in and place your order. He either did it on the app or he went in and placed the order and it was fully autonomous, fully robotics and AI, no human in the restaurant. And he raves how the burger was cooked to perfection. Everything was fresh. The sandwich was made. He was like, it was delicious. They have tables in the restaurant. The little storefront is a bunch of tables. So the fries were cooked to perfection. And the robotics got the order just right. He said it was absolutely delicious. I'll find the video. And I'll add it in the description below. Just an average guy that wants to give something new a try. He lives in California, and that's where they have the storefront. They're testing it because this is ridiculous. You know, walking in and hearing all that. I know I don't understand what they're saying, but it just seemed like they're going, you know, over there, over there, on the paper, help her, go this, talk to him. You know, just Jesus Christ, I don't even want to come in, be a customer. Why would I? Really, why would I? You know, this is where these chains, in my opinion, would benefit from robotics. And the small town business owners that are running, you know, you know, like, um, there's a place I love, Greek Cove in Merrick and Fat Boy Burritos. That's another one that's really kicking. And they use, well, Fat Boy Burritos. They have one of those machines, touchscreen, and they're very, um, Electronic. They have all the digital boards and they program everything themselves. They stay up with the times. I got off track a little bit. How, however, oh, places like that can hire the good help that are working in these fast chains. They won't have a problem finding help. They'll, they'll weed out all the bad ones and take all the good ones and give them good pay because they'd be earning them a lot of money. But these chains... This is ridiculous. I, I don't want to come here. And I'm seeing it more often in all these, you know, 
fast food joints. It's like these people, they don't really want to be here. And maybe this is privately owned. I, I wouldn't come here and be a customer. I spend money at the, many of the places I pick up at. So stay tuned. Let me see how long it takes for me to get to the last drop off. And hopefully I'll be back in town by 830. I can't believe how long this day took. I thought this would be an easy $250, $250 day. I was way off. I swear this just happened. I'm working on the video. I'm right in front of the store. I'm waiting. But I'm not in the fire lane. Truck pulls up. SUV. Guy jumps out of the passenger seat. The door is wide open. He stands in the doorway. And he, you can tell he's asking, is our food ready? And he just went like this. He went off. Oh, forget it. Jump back in the car. They drove away. They did. They, they didn't want to wait. You could tell. I could hear him. I mean, it's so close. His body language. You can hear what he said. Even though he was on the other side of the car, on the sidewalk in the store, I'm mean, right here. Why be open? You got customers going. Oh God, forget it. Keep it. I don't even want to wait for it. Keep it. I could have went shopping and cooked it at home myself. This is it. This is all I'm delivering. This is a very small order. This is like an Uber Eats order. Crazy. I'll be lucky I'm back in town by 8.30. This was tough. I delivered to the campus. I went in a circle for 20 minutes, but I figured it out. I'm just heading home. No Ubers, no Grubhubs. So let me tally up what I earned. I don't feel, you know, all the energy I put into this today. I mean, I spent the day completed completing four scheduled deliveries in Long Island, Nassau County, a little bit of Suffolk. And I did take that break in the middle to, to, to stop home and shower. I'm so grateful I did. And now it just, it just wasn't worth all the energy. I, I just can't believe how little I got done. I feel like, you know, I gave my whole day to those four deliveries and working on my video. I worked on my video. I got gas. Now, to end this video on a good note, Delivered sent me a great offer for tomorrow. It makes up for days like today. And here it is. I won't say where I'm going, but it's local. And the tip is $107.55. It's a late morning pickup and delivery. That's great. I'm so grateful. 79 plus 60. 139. I worked. I'm deducting an hour, an hour and 10 minutes because I came home. So I was actively working for eight and a half hours. 139 divided by, you know, I guess 8.5. That's how you do that. I earned just over $16 an hour. I think that's how you do it. I drove 81 miles. I'll deduct a few miles because I got lost in the campus. Not the greatest day, not the worst, but today I felt like I was working backwards all day. Everything was a struggle. And driving in Nassau County, Long Island today, in the areas that I had to work in, just, it made it so hard. Oh, and the mall pickup. That was just, oh my God. By the time that, yeah, that took a long time. It was just a tough day. I've had better. I'm in the Bolt Delivery app. I'm tapping on today's date. I earned $60 today with Bolt Delivery. Last Friday, I earned $37. I will receive all of these payouts this coming Friday on the 10th of May. That's how Bolt Delivery works. So Friday, I'll have all that income coming my way.